Hello, my name is Anthony Collins, and I'm trying to paint here this beautiful old home. Um, trying to capture probably the whole thing more than I should, but trying to keep it all loose, and I want to kind of concentrate on this really pretty area up in here, dramatic against the sky, and that light with the clouds behind it. Nice. It's a beautiful place. Is this your first time here? Um, I've been here, but it's been probably about 20 years since I've been here, actually. So yeah, it's, it's been a while. At least we so. have nice weather other than heat. It's a little warm. Right. Yeah, this morning it was thunderstorms and stuff. It was kind of funny. <laughs> and now it's all bright sunlight, so. I lucked out. And the barnyard colony was uh, created here in 1939 and what we today call the carriage house. Okay. Yeah. Really? Oh, wow. I think back in the day they just called it the barn. Right? So it was the barn colony. Okay. Still around today. It's awesome. very nice. Well, thanks. A lot for of great us. painters in the area. <laughs> well, thanks for showing us your painting. All right, you're welcome. This is the very northern extent of that range of that tree, and it's rare that they even survive here. So that is uh, whatever planted in 1870. 879 when the house was first built, not the first year, but shortly after, and it's still alive. Wow, it's, it's a, a gorgeous tree. tree. Yeah, I'm not doing it justice, I'm afraid. But, oh, you're doing great. But I'm having fun, so. <laughs> What's your name? Uh, Donna T. Shaw. And, uh, and this is your painting? This is my painting. I that don't. We're just talking about that, right? Yeah. yeah. I don't know if I got that all on the uh, video, but I got audio. I wasn't recording yet, so. Yeah. So I, I'm drawn to trees. I'm, I'm not <laughs> great at painting them necessarily, but uh, I love them. So it's hard for me to not notice them more than almost anything else. So. <laughs> yeah. uh, we have our videographer with us. This oh, Jim. that's looking nice. Yeah. So Jim would like to take a little bit of a video. Maybe if you feel like talking about anything, you're welcome to talk. Or you can take that stick and hit us. <laughs> Tell us to get away. What's your name? My name is Barbara Dove. Tell us a little bit about your painting here, what you're doing. Well, I, I'm, I shouldn't start out with a negative, but buildings are not my thing. But I still was drawn, and I had decided last night I was going to do this corner. So that's <laughs> what I decided to do. And I always start out with an underpainting of the opposite color that you want. So since this is a warm building, warm color, I started with a blue underpainting. Huh. Cool, cool color. It just kind of makes the, the color pop. And since I didn't want to paint every brick on there, I used a kind of a watercolor technique of letting it wet and flow. And kind of. So I'm not done, certainly not a done painting and I also disclaimer that I'm not a plein air painter. I usually paint in my studio. Awesome. So I'm not a quick painter, I guess that's <laughs> <laughs> so I'll go back, definitely. I'll I go didn't back understand and finish that. painting this in my studio. Yeah I like the drip. Did you see that in Coming. I Good. like it. I enjoy it. Well, thanks for sharing. You're welcome. Thank you for videoing. <laughs> <laughs> we would, can we serve you? We're only here to serve. <laughs> <laughs> for a price. <laughs> ice cold, delicious iced tea. Made from real tea. Real tea. Yes, yes. Not that <laughs> instant stuff. Okay. Turns out to be a nice day. Sunshine, almost too hot right now. <laughs> but that's what you get when you get plain air. You get a little variability in weather and shadows, and that's what makes it fun. Tell us so. a little bit about your painting here, Virgil. Well, first I started with a little sketch. So I kind of got a feel for all the little details that are in there. And now I'm trying to get some uh, details in my painting after I get some of the essence of the colors in there. 
So I've got the main outline of the thing on uh, canvas now and I'm kind of putting in some sky and some value colors so you can see the darks and the lights and more darks over here and uh, I got to lighten up the lawn a little bit because there's a lot of beautiful highlights on the lawn. So the uh, porch is going to be a little bit of a tricky problem because I'm scaling it down to compare to the larger sketch there. But we're having fun, that's the main thing, and just learning while we go. Yeah. My name is Carol Kessler, and I'm from Shelbyville. Awesome, well thanks for coming today. Mm -hmm. And new member of Barn Colony. Awesome. I've been... Tell us a little bit about your painting, what are you doing? Well, I walked around to see what I was interested in painting. I knew I didn't want to paint the whole house, but um, I just love the trees. And the sun was on the steps and inviting. So that's why I decided to, to emphasize that. So Pardon? Let me tell you a bit about the tree. It's, it's called a uh, cucumber magnolia. It was planted by Mr. Milliken. Ah. We have pictures from back in the 1880s and it's like a little tiny thing. Mm. And, uh, and it's at the northern end of its range. This is the tree that grows all across the south. And before it's aluminum nice. and plastic, they this tree was what your slats were in Venetian blinds. Oh. Right? Okay. Um, it's a beautiful tree. Still alive, although I think it's it's getting near the end of its life. Um, yeah, I didn't paint the dead branches. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> Coming towards me. Uh, I think I love what you did. I think it's beautiful. It really Just one. And I'm not using oils, I'm using oil pastel. So a new medium that that Pablo Picasso asked the Sennelier Company to to uh, devise in the 1940s. So what's the pastels? Is just a little drier. They're in a stick form and uh, developed so Picasso wanted something that would stick to any surface without doing a preparation ahead of time. these to my daughter. I'm sure she already knows. Oh, all yeah, about this that. is what kids use in grade school. Yeah, she probably already knows all Oh, about yeah. This. But I just got this new set of Sennelier. <laughs> and so trying that out for the first time today. Sweet. I love it. Good job. Thanks for sharing. Thank you. Okay, my name's Annette Russo, and I am a person who likes to do almost every medium there is. And I love this opportunity to come out and do some plein air painting today because that was uh, something I haven't done for a very, very long time. Well, what are you working on today? What's your piece? Well, mine's just the James Milliken Homestead. I'm sitting in front of it and I'm playing with color. I started with a really dark canvas, so now my job has been to lighten it up. So that's been a lot of fun. And plus, I love all the fretwork, even though that's not the main reason you do it. but. You know, you got to pick what you love and then try to figure out a way to stick it in there. <laughs> Let's get a nut plus shot here. Oh, sure. There you go. Looks good. Thanks. It looks pretty silly, but... Oh, it's fun. Great. It's cool. I love it. Thanks. I appreciate it, guys. And yeah. have you thought... Huh? You see that base of the of the uh, steps? Yeah. Where the handrail comes in? Right. Yeah, you right got there. it. So, I keep thinking that's like a, a Mueller fire hydrant. Oh, you yeah, know I'm what? <laughs> no, you know, it might be. Let's just say it is, yeah, what right? Because <laughs> you get to do that when you're an artist. That's you right. get to say whatever it is, even and though. The, the little yeah. ornamental fencing, they yeah. officially call that cresting. Oh. So that's cresting. The crusting. Yes. Yeah, so you can't uh, call it icing. Well, <laughs> and, you know, it's just beautiful stuff. It is fun stuff. It really is. Yeah. They don't do that anymore, do they? Mm -mm. Uh, you know, I'm having. We have to replace a bunch of it, and I'm having a tough time finding the. Oh, I bet so. It. You know, I I might be able to help you with that. I have a student who, whose um, parents did it down really? in yeah, huh? down in southern Illinois. Huh. Yeah. That'd be great. Who knows, I'm right? All for it. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Uh, who knows? Thanks, You're so welcome. Thank you, Jim.